crimes were committed by law-abiding citizens. They all have seen nightmare visions beforehand. The same pattern is repeating around the world, so there could be an overriding paranormal element. Are you talking about magic? Then we have to find John Constantine. There! Into the house! Come on, it's a dream team. You, me, Zatanna, Batman, maybe even a Justice League. Let's take a walk on the dark side then. Draga Malefic. Draga Malefic. Let's do this. Fuck it off. Hi, this is Mark Morrell from Toon Barn, and we're here at New York Comic Con 2016. We're talking about Justice League Dark, and I'm here with Matt Ryan, who plays Constantine. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you? Great. All right, so Constantine, he's sort of connected with all living things, is that true? Uh, yeah, I suppose so, yeah. Constantine's um, a, a wise-cracking street magician from Liverpool originally, although he's well-traveled, um, who is reluctantly pulled into this world and made to team up with a bunch of other people from the dark universe to kind of combat the, the forces of evil. Mm -hmm. All right, so is there any difference in playing Constantine as an animated character versus the live action character? You know what, it was, uh, you know, it's a, it's a different medium. It's really fun to do this character in a different medium. And uh, uh, what's great about it, you know, in the booth, you're working in a booth and you can get it wrong a lot more times than you can when you're doing live action, you know, uh, with time constraints you have. So, you know, it was kind of fun just to get back into the character again, uh, you know, into his voice and, and play around in the booth and, uh, and have a lot of fun with it because it's such a fun, fun character to play. Okay. All right. So without giving away the plot, mm -hmm. okay. Why does Constantine need the Justice League to help him find Alec Holland? Um, well, actually, it is sort of the the, it's the other way around. Yeah, yeah. so basically, um, a Justice League come up against some really dark, dark magic, dark demons all around the, uh, the world, and they... they they, they have to contact Constantine. So they contact Constantine, and, they, and in the process of that, uh, Constantine needs to use Alec Holland. And there's obviously a huge history between those two, and uh, Swamp Thing doesn't like Constantine much, but uh, Constantine manages to get him to help him out, and, uh, and they, they kind of team up for a little bit, and, uh, and they, he helps him along the way. Okay, so which one of the traditional Justice League characters does Constantine connect the most with? This is what's funny. What I really like about the movie, what we've done, is the relationship between Constantine and Batman. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of humor there, and I love the way that Constantine always calls the the, the normal Justice League guys, you know, uh, the suits, you know, the men in tights. It's kind of funny, and he takes the piss out of Batman quite a lot. And I really like their kind of their banter and their relationship. That's great. Uh, so. Can you give us an idea of what, how he might put Batman in his place, sir? He just calls him Batsy and like, you know, uh, has like little quips at him here and there. And, you know, Batman tries to pull out, you know, one of his, one of his amazing tools to make something happen. He's like, that's not going to work in this world. And then eventually it will. And then, uh, and then Constantine has to kind of, you know, backtrack on that. And there's just a real good banter between the two of them. And, you know, Batman at first is, is kind of skeptical about the dark world, but then realizes that he really needs Constantine to kind of, to, to, to work this problem out and uh, they end up having to work together and I think that ultimately they make a kind of kind of a good team an interesting good team yeah. mm. so is, is this your first time playing the animated character it is, yeah. in any in any format yes yes the first time I've done it in this in this in this medium yeah so how did that feel going into the the, the voice booth you know and the recording booth and stuff like that versus on a set I th it's great. It was a, a very different experience. Obviously, you're not working with a camera and you know a bunch of crew around you, and you're not interacting with your your fellow actors. You're actually you know just um, the, the, yeah, everyone comes in separately to do their stuff. So uh, it was a really interesting process, and uh, and Jay the director was fantastic, and everybody was great, and we had a lot of a lot of fun doing it. And uh, I think the movie turned out really well. Well, it's coming out in early 2017, and we can't wait to see it. So thank you for joining us on Toon Bar. Great. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Cheers. No two ways about it. We need to get close to have a chance. I expect the worst, so I prepare for the worst. I really wanted to jump into this project to play Constantine in a different context. Don't kill him. You can't. That's why we need you. You can lead us. It's the magic of the house. Decided it wanted to experience humanity and gave itself a body. It, it sure, sure did. did.